Hello class, today we are going to be talking about the Korean War. The Korean War was the first hot war of the Cold War. Wow, what a tongue twister that was. And it lasted from 1950 to 1953. After the Second World War, the Allies decided to divide the Korean Peninsula at the 38th parallel. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is the 38th parallel? Well, the 38th parallel is the 38th line of latitude. Now there are two of these. This one is the one north of the equator. So Korea would be divided up. The north would go under the trusteeship of the Soviet Union and the south would go under the trusteeship of the Americans. Two totally different countries would develop. The North would become a communist country, and the South would become a democratic country. Now, this might sound similar to something that's already happened. If you remember, in our discussions in World War II, after Germany lost the war, they lost their land. And their land would be divided up between the winners of the war. West Germany would go under the control of the French, the British, and the Americans. East Germany would go under the control of the Soviet Union. Now, West Germany would be democratic. East Germany would be communist. The same thing would happen with Korea. Korea used to be a colony of Japan. And Japan lost the war, so they lost their land. The winners of the war would split up Korea. North would go to Soviet Union. South would go to the United States. Now, both sides wanted to reunify the country under their own rule. And in 1950, after a small number of skirmishes at the border, war would break out between the North and South Korea. The United States would back the South Koreans, and the Soviet Union would back the North. Now, the North Koreans surprised the South Koreans and really got a jump on them and pushed them past the 38th parallel all the way down to Busan. The Americans, being very alarmed by this, put in a request to the United Nations asking to get involved. The United Nations would grant this and would place General Douglas MacArthur in charge of the Allied forces. General MacArthur would push all the way from Pusan all the way to the Yalu River, which bordered China. China would not like this, and they would become involved in the war. And would push the Americans back into the south. The Chinese really forced the United Nations forces and American forces to go into a full-blown retreat and they retreated past the 38th parallel. Now the Americans would fight back getting back to the 38th parallel and this is where a stalemate would occur. And after three years, the two sides fought to a stalemate, and they kept the country divided at the 38th parallel. Now, if you have any questions regarding this, write them down and bring them to class with you. We'll be going more in depth on this topic. We'll be discussing President Truman and General MacArthur's relationship. And we'll be discussing the ramifications of this war. I will see you in class.